Let's learn a useful method to solve limiting reactant problems. This is an example of how to solve limiting reactant stoichiometry problems using what we call the RICA or RICA table method. We will use the reaction between barium nitrate and sodium phosphate generate barium phosphate and sodium nitrate. This is an ion swap and should produce a barium phosphate precipitate. We're going to assume we start with 90 grams of barium nitrate and 50 grams of sodium phosphate reactant. And we can answer three questions. Which of the reagents, another word for reactant, is the limiting reagent? What is the maximum amount of each product that can be formed? And finally, how much of the other reactant is left over after the reaction is complete? We can answer all these questions using a RICA table. Here you have a RICA table with the balanced chemical equation on the R line. We must remember that RICA tables only work in the mole hole, so we have to convert grams of reactant to moles, and we'll get everything in terms of moles in the table. The first conversion is to find how many moles of barium nitrate we have, so we divide the 90 grams by the 261 molar mass, and we get 0.345 moles. We then convert the sodium phosphate 50 grams by dividing by 164 gram molar mass to get 0.305. That's the moles of reactant that we have. We can determine now the number of moles of sodium phosphate needed to react with all of the barium nitrate, 0.345 moles. We could have done it the other way, but either one will give us the limiting reactant. So we solve for moles of sodium phosphate equal to 0.345 moles of barium nitrate, and then we look at the balanced chemical equation to see the ratio of moles of sodium phosphate to moles of barium nitrate, and it is two-thirds. And we get 0.230 moles of sodium phosphate needed for all the barium nitrate. With 0.305 moles of sodium phosphate, we have more than enough of that reagent to handle all of the barium nitrate. That means that barium nitrate is our limiting reactant, and sodium phosphate is available in excess. There's more of it than we actually need. So all of the calculations will be done from the barium nitrate limiting reactant. Now we began with no products, so we fill in the I line with zeros for the products. Moreover, we now know that the barium nitrate is our limiting reactant, so we can zero out the after line for barium nitrate. From this point on, you may want to stop the video to verify calculations that we make as we go through it. The change in barium nitrate, of course, is obvious, negative 0.345 moles. We now calculate the change in sodium phosphate as two-thirds of the change of the barium nitrate. And having done that, we get 0.230 moles of sodium phosphate. It'll be a loss, a negative. But that's a calculation we did already, so we just wasted a little bit of time. Well, I wanted to show you that as we go through this, we actually do calculations once, and then we can forget about doing them again. We now calculate the change in barium phosphate product. Looking at the balanced chemical equation, we see the 1 to 3 ratio of barium phosphate to barium nitrate. So, we do that calculation, and we see that we have 0.115 moles of barium phosphate that is produced. We add that as a positive number to the RICA table. We now can calculate the change in sodium nitrate. Seeing the 6 and the 3 coefficients, we have a 6 thirds, or twice, calculation here. And when we do that, we get 0.690 moles of sodium nitrate, which we enter as a positive number in the RICA table on the change line. Now we can fill in the rest of the table. The only remaining mole calculation is the amount of the excess sodium phosphate, 
which we get by adding the i initial value to the change value, the c value, and we get 0.075 as the final sodium phosphate. And so in the end, we have 0.115 moles of barium phosphate and 0.690 moles of sodium nitrate. We can now come out of the mole hole with whatever reactant or product we need a gram number four just by multiplying by the molar mass. If in fact there were gas products at STP, we would be able to just multiply by 22.4 liters the mole products to find the number of liters of gas produced. But we're using a solid product and solid reactants, so now we'll do that. Multiply by the molar mass. Molar masses for these three, uh, one is of course reactant, and then the two products are given here by adding, of course, the atomic masses and the right numbers of moles. And so we multiply those together and we get 12.3 grams of sodium phosphate, 69.2 grams of barium phosphate, and 58.7 grams of sodium nitrate that remain after the reaction. So we answer the three questions we asked at the beginning. Which of the reagents is the limiting reagent? Barium nitrate is. What is the maximum amount of each product that can be formed? And you see the numbers in the table above for those masses. And finally, how much of the other reagent is left over after the reaction is complete? That, of course, is sodium phosphate, and the amount is given in the table.